it on the MTN News, a frightening find. And then we have this like room off of here, which does have a separate entrance. We'll tell you what this Billings realtor discovered in a home she was showing that sent her sprinting for the door. Honestly, I think for a while I might have to have someone come with me as I'm processing through what happened. Plus, a kratom cracked down. Natural, 100%. The stuff that I get is tested before it comes to the United States and then it's tested again here. Lawmakers pushing to regulate the herbal extract, a move that has plenty of critics. And protests at the Capitol as hundreds of supporters urged the Montana House Speaker to recognize a transgender representative. The MTN News starts right now. From Montana's news leader, this is the MTN 530 News. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for starting your week with us. I'm Russ Reesinger. And I'm Andrea Lutz. Our top story tonight, a scary sight. A Billings realtor comes face to face with a home invader hiding behind a door while she's giving a virtual tour of a house in the Heights. Now that moment was caught on camera. We've blurred the video in this story, but the realtor's post on social media went viral to the tune of some 7 million views. As Arlena Howder reports, she made it out safely, but it's a harsh reminder to always be aware of your surroundings. Imagine you're a realtor showing a home, something you've done a hundred times before. Only this time you open a door and find an intruder hiding behind it. In a growing city like Billings, it's no surprise to see for sale on a lot of front lawns. But it's what realtor Alyssa Webb found inside one of those homes this past Saturday. Saturday, I was showing a home to my buyers via video. I was actually recording the video for them. That will haunt her for years to come. I thought I noticed some feet shuffle behind a door at the back of the garage. And I kind of second guessed myself. Did that really happen? Were there really feet there? Webb was recording video on her phone when she opened a door off the garage. Which does have a separate entrance. And found a man <coughs> hiding behind the door. <coughs> Fortunately, Alyssa wasn't alone. Someone's in the house. Help me. Help. I thought, is he going to attack me? Is he going to pull my leg? Is he going to tackle me to the ground? Her boyfriend was waiting outside. Someone called 911, but by the time police arrived, the man was gone. He was smoking a cigarette. I could then smell the cigarette smoke, and I turned to the left and opened the door and locked eyes with him. And I very quickly just shut the door and took off running. Alyssa believes the man broke into the home after seeing a for sale sign out front and got in through a broken window. And I think that's something that can really be talked about in this industry that maybe for sale signs get taken away for safety. Alyssa knows the experience will have a lasting impact. I think I'm going to have a little trauma to unpack moving forward in my job. I show homes in the dark on the weekends at night in the mornings all hours of the day and yes I am usually by myself. And she's since learned her experience isn't unique. Comments started pouring in after Alyssa uploaded her videos to TikTok. They now have a combined 7 million views there's other realtors that have commented and said they have gone through this many times in different cities, bigger, more populated places where they're running into squatters. She hopes her story will serve as a warning to others. It can happen anywhere, close to home, any city, any state, and just know how to be prepared. Be careful of what might be lurking behind the door. In Billings, Alina Howder, MTN News. Montana joined several other dozen states trying to ban a currently unregulated substance called Kratom. Kratom is an herbal supplement derived from a plant native to Southeast Asia. And experts say it produces opioid-like effects. While there are no FDA-approved uses for Kratom, users take it to help with chronic pain and anxiety. And some say it can help overcome addiction to opioids or alcohol. But in recent years, the FDA continues to try to federally ban the drug. And debate is growing in Montana about how or if to regulate Kratom here. Our Haley Monaco spoke. Kratom is an herbal extract that's currently legal in the Treasure State. But a Montana House bill is trying to change that. And one man is speaking out, saying if the bill passes, his life wouldn't be the same. If you've ever driven past the Hippie Hut in South Billings and wondered what it sells, Mitch Ronshaugen is the guy you need to meet. If this House Bill 437 passes, it'll destroy my business and I'll end up back on welfare. Ron Saugen owns and operates the business which sells Kratom. It's not only his main source of income, he also uses it himself. I just found Kratom because of my aversion to use opiate painkillers. 
Uh, I had a friend that um, ended up with a heroin addiction that started with prescription medications. Looking for a natural way to help his rheumatoid arthritis and degenerative disc disease, he found the plant with mild opioid-like properties. He says many of his customers use Kratom medicinally. Kratom has not only given me the energy boost and the pain relief that I need to be productive, uh, getting this place cleaned up, and uh, but it's given me a revenue stream. But that revenue stream could soon vanish. House Bill 437 before Montana lawmakers would make Kratom a Schedule 1 drug, which means it has no acceptable medical use and is tightly regulated. Similar to opiates and heroin. Adding Kratom to the list of spe specific dangerous drugs included in Schedule 1 of the Controlled Substances Act. I certainly have run into quite a number of people who have become addicted to Kratom and it uh, has pretty much destroyed their lives. Dr. Robert Sherrick is the chief medical officer of Community Medical Services. While he has seen people become addicted to Kratom, he doesn't know if it should be listed as a Schedule One drug. We should be spending those same efforts on expanding treatment for people who have uh, an addiction, whether it's to Kratom or any other substance. Ron Taugen is also closely watching what happens, fully in support of some changes, so long as those changes don't make Kratom illegal. Realistically, I, I owe the general public a personal apology uh, for not getting ahead of this legislation and asking for regulation. And that would have been probably the most responsible thing that I could have done as a Kratom vendor and a Kratom user. In Billings, Haley Monaco, MTN News. Today, hundreds of people protested at the state capitol against House Speaker Matt Regeer's decision not to allow Missoula Representative Zoe Zephyr to speak on the House floor. MT and political reporter Jonathan Ambarian breaks down what happened. There was a significant disruption on the Montana House floor Monday as protesters in the House gallery began shouting and chanting, let her speak, as House Speaker Matt Regeer again declined to recognize Missoula Democratic Representative Zoe Zephyr on the House floor. The issue that drove Monday's protest goes back to last week when Zephyr, a transgender woman, spoke on the floor about a bill to ban gender-affirming medical procedures for transgender youth. She said lawmakers who voted for the bill should be ashamed and would have blood on their hands. After that, Speaker Regeer said he had concerns that Zephyr wouldn't maintain decorum if he called on her, and he was using his authority as Speaker not to recognize her to speak on the floor. Zephyr's supporters say Regeer's decision is depriving her constituents of their voice in the House. On Monday morning, they delivered a petition with more than 3,000 names urging him to change his decision. At noon, they held a rally on the Capitol's front steps, again saying, let her speak, and raising a banner reading, democracy dies here. Zephyr said she was sent to Helena to speak for her constituents and her community, and she planned to keep doing it. At 1 p.m., the House began its daily floor session. More than 100 people filled the gallery. Zephyr again attempted to speak in debate over a bill, when Regeer again decided not to recognize her, and the House voted not to overturn his decision. That's when the protesters began shouting. A number of protesters have been arrested, but we don't have any details about the charges or anything further about the number of arrests at this time. This is a developing story and we'll continue to update you as we learn more. In Helena, Jonathan Ambarian, MTN News. It is one of the surest signs of spring crews clearing the snow off the Beartooth Highway to prepare for its customary Memorial Day weekend opening. Those at the Montana Department of Transportation say they're ahead of schedule and here is proof Look at this picture that the department posted from the first plowing efforts this past week. And then here's the curious part. Crews say there isn't much snowpack actually there after a dry start to 2023. Well, this is what it all looked like on May 5th of last year. And crews will likely be at that spot within a day or two. Well, let's toss it over to our chief meteorologist Ed McIntosh with a first look at the weather on this beautiful Monday. Here's a look at Doppler radar over the last three hours with the latest images that we have to the west of Billings starting to pick up some snow here as we start looking into the bear too, some scattered area showers. If we expand the view a little bit, we've even had a little more active weather around Great Falls, some flickers of lightning there. I was checking, it looked like maybe some small hail just outside of the town there and some stronger winds to go along with it and some snow showers here in southwest Montana as well. Now we've been tracking a storm system and it's taking a little 
little bit of an alternate course on us. Originally, we thought this storm system would follow more of the yellow area, skimming by the Billings area in southeastern Montana, but it's more on the line of where we have the red arrow, which is going to send it to the south. More on this in a few minutes. The Billings Airport took another huge step forward in their expansion plans today, unveiling a brand new food court. The new space includes three new restaurants, Logan's Diner, a Cinnabon, and a second location for the popular downtown restaurant Stacked. This on the heels of a much bigger expansion of the A concourse, but there's more construction still to come. Crews continue to work on the B and C concourses at the airport with four new additional jet bridge gates expected next spring. The restrooms near the baggage check are also being upgraded and should be completed in the next few months. They want to have what they would find in their hometowns. So they want to have find the same beverages, they want to find the same types of food. To have all these entities for the traveler and having good food, good service, good beverage, it's important for the economy and important for the airport. The $60 million expansion at Billings Airport is being funded with federal grants and airport revenue funded from fees that are charged at the airport, along with bond financing. And we'll have more on the airport's expansion project and this new food court tonight at 10. Still to come on the MTN 530 News on Q2, Zigazoo with one social media app possibly on the way out in Montana. Another is looking to catch on. We'll introduce it to you next. And in sports, a new dream practice facility for the Montana Grizzlies is now one giant step closer to reality. We'll be right back. From Montana's news leader, you're watching the MTN 530 News. With the TikTok ban bill now awaiting Governor Greg Gianforte's signature, a new social media app is looking to pick up steam in the treasure state. Yeah, they call it Zigazoo, and it became popular during the pandemic as a way for children to interact with one another in a safe environment. Now the company wants to take advantage of an opportunity and expand it here in Montana. Charlie Kleps has the story. With TikTok possibly on its way out of Montana, a new video-based social media app is wanting to take over. It's called Zigazoo, a goofy name, but it makes sense because it was originally designed for children. But now the creator is hoping to put a positive spin on adult social media. We're an American-made app that has been built to create a healthier environment. Zach Ringelstein is just like any teacher. He always wants what is best for his students. So in 2020, when the COVID pandemic hit, he came up with an app that would help keep kids connected. We gave our kids and their friends challenges that then they could post their responses to on a feed. And that was the beginning of Zigazoo. These challenges can be anything from questions like, what's your favorite ice cream to giving a heart to someone you care about. But all of the responses have to be in video format. The only way to comment on a video is to leave a video response to that video. And that obviously cuts down on all the trolling. You're ha held a lot more accountable. Accountability at a time when Montana lawmakers are demanding it. TikTok endangers the safety of Montanans and, Amer and Americans at large. A bill now awaiting Governor Gianforte's signature would be the first in the nation to ban the Chinese-owned app TikTok. TikTok has access to the most sensitive information on your device. Your name, your home address, and a whole host of other people pieces of information. You're not the user. You're being used. Ringelstein hopes to capitalize on the current political climate to introduce his app to Montanans. Creators love it because uh, they're actually seeing the the real faces of their fans as opposed to just seeing likes and comments. An app he hopes will be bigger and better than what currently exists. There's this real opportunity without losing the fun flavor of social media to not just uh, replace TikTok in Montana and in other states and across the world, but to actually do it in a much better way. In Billings, Charlie Kleps, MTN News. And is joining us now for a look outside. Those temperatures are gonna continue to kind of wobble around. That's right, and the cloud cover as well, as you take a look at the graphic, that yellow line shows where clouds kind of wanna move in, move out, but will he bring any rain showers? We'll talk about that with the forecast coming up.